What's up guys? Arcade Adam here, back with another video. I have to apologize for my absence. Lots of things have happened. Lots of things are going to happen. And um, there's a lot of things in the works. But today, real quick, should be a quick video. Uh, I wanted to bring you guys up to speed of what I've been doing, what I've been working on, what's going on uh, in the arcade scene. But uh, first, I thought we'd do a little old school unboxing and I try my hand at the classic one-handed YouTuber unboxing experience and uh, then I'll show you what I got in here and then kind of explain what uh, the plan is for what's inside so without further ado oh by the way this is from uh, a store called tmolding.com I don't know if you're familiar um, oops gotta blur that stuff out but do that later but uh not sponsored whatever yada 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 but they have great inventory of ultimark things buttons switches joysticks what have you uh, but also as the name implies they are amazing at tea molding uh especially weird tea molding like this this is what i swore i would never use again uh, i don't know if you can tell on camera let me bust it out of the bag for you there if you have a tool, use it, right? Scissors. Dull scissors. <laughs> Might help if I switch hands too. There. All right, that shows up much better. So this is tea molding where you can fit a LED strip inside. Um, I don't know if that shows up too well on camera, but the other thing I wanted to point out is this stuff is really, really, really hard to work with. Um, let's see if this shows up on camera. So a wooden counter uh, workbench. It, it doesn't really bend. I had to literally heat it up with a hair dryer and a heat gun last time I used it. It's like, this doesn't squish, it has no give. Basically, you're you're dealing with PVC pipe type material. Don't recommend it, but the finished product is amazing. Especially if you use tightly spaced LEDs, like 144 per meter LED strips, the expensive ones. Looks really good. So we'll get back to that. Let's see what else we got in here. We got spinner top, or spinner. Hopefully that's in here somewhere. And we got, oh yeah, yellow IL Euro sticks. Oh, those who know, know ILs. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So we got a yellow one, we should have a red one. Peanuts. Yeah, look at those. Very nicely constructed sticks. These are a lot like your um, tap competitions, but they're just, they just feel so much better. Uh, I'll do a video more in depth on these later, but those in the community, especially the Extreme Home Arcades community, know what I'm talking about. So yellow, red, uh, I should have a green one. Oh yeah, Ninja Turtles green. This is actually the, in quotes, old green color. The new green color is a little bit brighter than this, so be careful if you're ordering, guys, and you want to try to match the Ninja Turtles green. And then we got a blue one, so four joysticks. What else we got in here? This looks like a USB encoder for either a trackball or the spinner. And what else we got? Oh, here we go. We got the spinner itself. And then, time to go digging. We have one more USB encoder. Oh, it must be oh, it's in the big box. Get this out of the way. Hey, there she is. Okay, so that was the spinner encoder because right there, there's the encoder for the trackball. So this is a Ultimark trackball with the undermount kit so it doesn't show your bolts. So you have the option of going all the way through the control panel or hiding them under uh, the MDF so you don't see them. That's what that kit's for. And then this is a pearl translucent trackball in a standard Ultimark 3-inch trackball kit. Um, I went Ultimark because 
that's what I know. I know people swear by the uh, the HAP trackball, um, and I have worked with that. I've worked with both the green board and the red board version of it. I just have this on my machine, and I know it does. I'm I'm familiar with it. I know it does certain things that I like to use it for, and I know it has a great way to interface. I don't know if that shows up on camera, but it's got holes cut out for the LED system. I'm going to go with a full custom LED system with this. So. What is all this stuff for? Well, uh, with some movie magic on screen right now should be the arcade control panel that I've been working on um, for the past couple of days that I'm going to build uh, as a side project here in the winter months. So I'm going to go out in the garage and build an arcade, a four player arcade, with basically spare parts I had laying around. Well. Kind of, you know, I just opened up all this brand new stuff. But basically, here, let me show I got them right here. Uh, I was building a Rec Room Masters cabinet for one of my buddies. And they shipped me the wrong artwork. So instead of shipping me just the artwork, they shipped me a whole new cabinet side. So this is the wrong artwork, in quotes. And it's great. I mean, look at the quality on this. This is nice. It's really, really, really good stuff. So I have an entire side panel set right, left and right for an arcade that I never built. So what I was going to do was, I was, and it doesn't have any other parts. I don't have the middle, I don't have the control panel, I don't have anything else. I was going to try to use my woodworking skills. <laughs> we'll see if that, <laughs> that ends up working out well. And then a couple more parts. And then the control panel layout you saw on screen a moment ago to complete a four player build. And then on top of that, just with some, some more parts we're using and recycling, I'm not exactly happy with the 4K monitor I have on my racing sim that I showed off on my channel. You guys may remember, it's basically just a 43 inch 4K TV. So I was gonna use that as the monitor for this build. So it's gonna be a four player, 43 inch size arcade. And then I'm gonna get a new monitor for my racing sim. Guys, wife accepting factor, you know how that works. Just kind of move the money around to lessen the blow, right? <laughs> Give me a like <laughs> on the video if you know what I'm talking about. And uh, comment down below if you need some uh, therapy on that topic. But anyway, I'll give you a sneak peek on one more thing I've got coming up. If you guys can uh, tell me what those might be for, put them in the comments down below. See if you can guess what I'm going to build. So 43-inch four-player arcade, plus I got something else cooking from China and some of it's starting to show up. So lots of projects going on on the channel. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update since I know I haven't updated in a while. Let me know if you got any questions on these controls. Like I said, I'll do an in-depth video on ILs versus HAPs. Um, and I've got some other arcades too we can take a look at um, uh, in the uh, spare parts section so we can do a comparison, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, other than that guys, just a quick video. Please uh, like and subscribe. I got over 500 uh, subscribers, so that's fantastic. Um, I guess one more thing I can show you if I can tempt my luck here with a one-handed operation is the uh, bottom side of this artwork because it's I think it turned out really well, even though it's technically not correct. But, uh, check this out. Like, look at this. It's, you know, it's an arcade logo type artwork collection, but still... I think it was turning out pretty good. It's a shame to waste. So I, I've, this has been sitting in my basement for like almost a year now. So I figured it's time to put it to good use, give it a build. Um, oh, and where were those? Oh, there they are. I've bought some casters for the bo bottom of it. So we're going to have some wheels to move around. But anyway, like I was saying, like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual things. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.